prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter the Apostle. Today, we especially pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the successor of St. Peter. May his pastoral ministry in the Church be a source of unity and truth in us. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O 
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempests may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing, not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that gives me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for the years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven." Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed 
in heaven. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We celebrate today the chair of St. Peter, the symbol of the mission and responsibility given to him. And in our first reading today, in this celebration, we read from the letter of St. Peter. In our first reading today, St. Peter, in his letter, addresses the presbyters in the church. And St. Peter said, Beloved presbyters, I exhort you as a fellow presbyter. The word presbyter is rooted in the Greek word presbyteros, which means priests, but it is also rooted in the Greek word elder. That is why St. Peter was considered as an exemplary elder in the community. My dear brothers and sisters, elders are important in the community. Why? Because elders share their wisdom. Elders are guides. As in our first reading today, St. Peter describes the presbyters or elders in the Christian community as shepherds. That is why the role of elders are important in the community. Many of us here function as elders. Maybe you are a father or a mother or a grandfather or a grandmother. You are elders within the home and the family. Maybe you are an elder brother or an elder sister. You function as an elder to your younger brothers and sisters. Maybe you are a teacher. You are the elder within the classroom, the elder among your students. Maybe you are a priest, a bishop. You function as the elder in the church. Maybe in your religious community and congregation, the superior or the novice master function as the elder in the community. My dear brothers and sisters, elders are important. Because according to St. Peter, the elders function as good examples in the community. Are we elders, good examples, and good shepherds in the community? Sadly, St. Peter also said in our first reading, even if you are an elder and you are given the office of the elder in the community, you can also fall into the trap of shameful profit, he said. You can fall into the trap of pride and you will function as a lord 
instead of a shepherd. And you will not function well. You will not become a good example to your flock. That is why the letter of St. Peter in our first reading today exhorts and encourages the elders to become good examples in their community. My dear brothers and sisters, sadly also today, our elders are being manipulated by social media. Many times, the elders believe the fake news in social media and they spread it. That is why I think the exhortation of St. Peter today is very important. Dear elders within the communities, please, we need elders today who spread truth, not fake news. We need elders today who will teach us to be honest, not to lie. We need elders today who will spread decency, moral ascendancy. We need elders today who will teach us about the faith and not disrespect of God. We need elders today who we can be proud of. My dear brothers and sisters, we take strength in our gospel reading today. Saint Peter, as the elder of the community, also got his strength from Jesus. He made sure that he is connected to the chief shepherd, our Lord Jesus Christ so that he also could become an effective shepherd, an effective elder in the community. My dear brothers and sisters, my fellow elders, I am also an elder because I function as a priest in the church community. Many of us here function as elders in our homes, in our classrooms, in your work and offices, we need elders today who will spread truth, who will give us wisdom, who will share us compassion and mercy. Let us become elders whom we can be proud of. Amen. Please stand. God, our Father, in your providence, you chose St. Peter as the leader of the apostles and as head of the church. We pray as a community of faith under the successor of St. Peter, trusting in you. For every petition, let us say, Bless your church, O Lord. Bless your church, O Lord. That Pope Francis, the successor of Peter, may, ex may exercise his authority in the spirit of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless, Bless your, your church, church O, o Lord. Lord. That the Pope and the bishops and those in the diplomatic service of the Holy See may become effective agents in the unity of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless, Bless your church, church, O Lord, Lord. That pastors and all lay, lay faithful may be steadfast in their faith and obedient to the magisterium of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless, Bless your, your church, church, O Lord, Lord. That the sick may find healing in the ministry of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless, Bless your, your church, church, O Lord. Lord. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, 
and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless, Bless your church, church O Lord, Lord, that the faithful departed may join the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless, Bless your, your church, church, O Lord. Lord. Father, help us to become faithful followers of your Son by our obedience to the See of Peter. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you eternal shepherd do not desert your flock but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your son and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god, god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. 
O God, who at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed Apostle Peter have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant, we pray, that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostle Peter, now and forever. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all, now and forever. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching, you possess firmness of faith forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, in the 